Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today's video is just going to be a quick overview of a new product that I received last week. This is a ZWO camera, ASI 294MC Pro. So like a lot of amateur astronomers who get into astrophotography, when I first started, mostly what I did was pretty much take a point and shoot camera and stick it up to the eyepiece and hope for the best. And after doing that, um, I got a basically a camera adapter to actually attach my camera to an eyepiece to take longer exposures, the afocal method. And then afterwards, I finally went to Prime Focus, got myself a DSLR camera, a T adapter and a T ring, and uh, started doing photography that way. And I've been pretty much using my DSLR uh, almost exclusively for the past few years up to this point. So I figured it was time to step up to a camera that was designed specifically for astrophotography and I decided to go with the ZWO camera. And again, this is the ASI 294MC Pro. And today I'm just going to open the box, kind of show you what you get. And I'm also going to show you a couple of things which you're probably going to need to get the most out of this camera. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so let's take a look and see what we get. So starting with the camera bag. The camera will come in the bag. The bag's a nice padded carrying case to keep your camera protected. It's a nice touch. Get a USB 3.0 camera uh, cable to run everything. It's also going to come with a few spacers, in this case a 21 millimeter and a 16.5 millimeter. That's to help achieve the 55 millimeter back focus that you need for the camera. There's also an 11 millimeter uh, adapter that's already pre installed on the camera itself. Also, come with a few uh, plastic or Delrin uh, spacers to help achieve back focus if you're running a different setup. M42, the M48 adapter. An inch and a quarter nose piece adapter with a cap. And then we also have a couple of uh, short USB 2.0 cables. So let's take a look at the camera itself. All right, so looking at the camera, get a protective cap. So this is the 11 millimeter ring I was talking about that comes pre-installed. And then here, between this ring and the filter that I have installed, is a T2 to inch and a quarter adapter. This threads in and you can actually thread on a uh, inch and a quarter filter right to the camera body, which is good. I'm gonna go over that in just a second. Then looking at the, uh, the back side of the camera, we have a USB 3.0 input here. We have a couple of USB 2.0 outputs. That's useful for running camera uh, accessories. Let's say if you've got an electronic filter wheel or you know maybe an electronic focuser, you can plug those in and power those through here. Then there's an input for the cooler. Then we have the cooling fan itself. You can see on the sides here, we have the fins to help uh, dissipate heat from the camera. And it's made out of aluminum. It's pretty lightweight, but uh, very well built. And that's pretty much it for the camera itself. Now, the chip on this is a four-thirds format. Uh, I believe the resolution is 4144 by 2822. And I believe the pixel size is uh, 4.63 micrometers. All right, so we talked about the camera itself, as long as some of the accessories that you get with it. Let's talk about some of the things that you're gonna wanna probably get to maximize the usefulness of this camera. So, as I was showing you before, on the front here, I have an inch and a quarter filter uh, installed. This is a UV IR cut filter. So the front of this camera does have a protective window that covers the chip, but it's just basically optical glass. It doesn't do any filtering of any wavelengths of light. It lets everything through. If you're going to be using this camera with any telescope system that has refractive optics, you're going to need an IR UV cut filter. And that's so that you cut out a lot of the IR and UV that causes uh, star bloat, uh, kind of fuzziness in the stars, because uh, refractive optics can't focus IR light uh, on the same focal plane as visible light. And so you get kind of like ghosting around your stars and stuff like that. So um, you're definitely gonna wanna get a filter if you're using refractor or smith cassegrain If you're using a reflective system, such as Newtonian or a classical cassegrain you probably won't need to have one, but it's still probably a good idea to get one anyway, just because it will help reduce any uh, odd colors that you may get using this without an IRUV cut filter. 
Now, if you're using a camera that has a smaller chip size, such as this with a four thirds chip, you can, like I said, save a few dollars, get yourself an inch and a quarter filter, thread that on. You don't have to really worry about vignetting because of the uh, inch and a quarter size filter cutting off any of the uh, imaging area of the chip. If you're running a bigger chip, say you know, APS-C and certainly a full frame, you're gonna to wanna to probably step up to a two inch filter so that you're not, you know, basically vignetting your images to the point to where they're unusable. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to get, and unfortunately the camera does not come with this, but you're gonna to wanna to get a power supply to run that cool in the back. Now ZWO sells it separately, you can get, it's about 30 bucks, you know, it's not expensive. Uh, but any um, power supply that's 12 volts and rated for three amps will work. This one is rated for five amps and it's just fine and it needs to be a center positive uh, connector. So that's pretty much it for this overview. I have gotten the camera outside to use it once um, and had a few hours to work with it. And in this video, you're gonna see some images that I've taken with it. A uh, full review will be coming up later once I get you know enough time under the belt with this camera. So but right now, I'm just, I'm happy to have it. Um, what I'm seeing so far is definitely awesome. Very excited about this camera. But uh, that's pretty much it, and I'll let you guys know how it goes later on. And um, take care of yourselves out there, and I'll see you in the next one.